controlled chaos here. I want to talk to you guys about using inspirations in City Heroes. Let's go ahead and get into it. First off, there are four main categories of using inspirations. There, use them as you get them. There's hold on to them until you need them. There's hold on to them for the big fights. And then there's a variation. I'm going to go over each uses of these and the pros and cons to them. So the first one, use them as you get them. This is meant for the players who are really used to the game and understand the game and really, really good at the game. It's basically, as you get an inspiration, you use it. So if you get a defense inspiration, you use the defense in for in, in inspiration. If you get damage inspiration, you use that damage inspiration right away. And this helps out during all fights and makes things can move very, very quickly. And that's one of the pros of doing this. Some of the negatives of doing this is the fact that when you need inspirations and you're in trouble, you don't have them. Another positive to this one is you always have room for more inspiration. Always, and that's really a nice thing about this. Now, let's talk about the one hold on to them until you need them. The great thing about this is you're always going to have inspirations, it's really, really good, and you just use them when you're having a tough time with a fight, and that's a good thing. It's, it's for those players who are good but not extremely good. The bonuses to this one is you always have a bunch of inspirations to use. And if you're missing an inspiration, you can always take three of the same inspiration, combine them together and switch out for another inspiration. You do this by right clicking on one of the three that you have, selecting combined and then selecting what you are needing. And that is how you combined inspirations so you can prep yourself for battles and that's really nice the downside to this is sometimes you might not have space for more inspirations you might have filled up your inspiration cash and that's a problem but it allows you to take on bigger fights because you're able to stack multiple inspirations you're able to stack a bunch of damage inspirations a bunch of defense inspirations and things like that so that's another good thing about this the next one i want to talk about is holding on to them for the big fight so if you're a really good player which i'm i'm one of those i'm not god tier but i'm really good at the game I use this type of one of holding on to them for the big fights. And I do this for two reasons. One, honestly, I sort of forget that I have inspirations and that's my fault. Two, I like to have a bunch of inspirations ready for big fights. I like to be able to take on something that I'm like a little worried about, not sure I'm gonna be able to take it on. Now, the bonuses to doing this is, once again, you always have a lot of inspirations and you can find inspirations, get the inspirations you need, things like that. And along with the stacking of them, just like to hold on to them until you need them. The major flaw with this is you're always, always have room for more inspirations unless you combine inspirations. And that's a big thing. You really have to focus on combining inspirations to free up some slots if you need it. And that's the problem. The fourth one is the varied. And this group, the varied is depending on like what kind of archetype you're playing. Depends on how you use inspirations. For me, when I'm doing varied, it's more I'm stacking up my inspirations on archetypes like blasters the really weak classes i will stack up and hold on to inspirations till i really need them for the big fights the really hard fights 
when I'm playing something like a brute, a tank, a stalker, a scrapper, you know, something I can take damage, I will pop those like candy, especially on tankers and brutes. I just munch them up like they're nothing. And that, that's the reason why. And so the varied will hit all those first three categories of pros and cons. You're able to mix and match and things like that. Now, I did have a comment from someone on this poll that I took that literally stated that some of their friends yell at them for holding on to inspirations. Here's the thing. How you use your inspirations only your business no one else should tell you when or how to use inspirations just like no one should tell you how to play your archetype or what kind of build you should be doing that is your choice you're playing the game for fun play it your way when i mentioned a poll i did a poll for the community and here it is as you can see 37 percent said that they use them all the time as they get them. 37% said that they hold on to them until they need them. 11% are like me and they hold on to them for the really big tough fights. And then 11% said that varies. And then 4% stated that they have other reasons for it. Only one of them commented but it was more a comment on sort of being criticized for how they use inspirations so i don't know the other reasons i did state in this as you can see comment below with uh, how you use them and no one commented so i don't have that data here i hope you found this video helpful if you did hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed and have a great day